Welcome to victoriapiking.com and today we are going to make this bubbly beauty, you see? It's just wonderful. It's pumpkin spice, pumpkin and lentil soup, yes. So if you want to know how to make this, keep watching. First you should put on the chicken, here. Now to this, after it started to reheat, so be careful, it's very hot, add about two to three tablespoons of coconut oil. If you don't like coconut oil with a savory food, you can use um, ghee or uh, butter or olive oil will do the same job very good in here. So about two tablespoons of this goes in. Okay, exactly two tablespoons of it goes in. Now, the next what I'm adding, I'm adding, as you see, this is um, garlic shoots. If you can't find those, use about three garlic cloves. And this is leeks. By the way, I have very tender and light leek. If you see tender leeks if you have one and not the rough one use all the greens as well if not use just the white part so this is goes in on the first signs of caramelization which i have and it's already softened i'm going to add um, bell pepper and carrot it was a medium sized carrot that i've uh, sliced vegetable is pumpkin. After it has been there for a couple of minutes, I'm adding the pumpkin in. I'm going to add sprouted lentil. I've sprouted them at home. And as you see here, oh, you beautifully can see the sprouting. By mistake, I put a little bit more than I intended. I sprouted for the later use. So about two cups sprouted, or three cups of, uh, sprouted. Now, very interesting ingredient, salsa. Use the salsa that you love. I'm not sure you can see very well. This is the Kirkland from Costco. This is pretty spicy salsa, and I love it this way. If you like mild, use mild salsa. That's it. Like, it's as easy as it is. So I'm going to use all of it. This is going to be the base of my soup. Same amount of water goes there. Okay, now we're good to go. Now you need to mix and you need to mix, make sure that the water go inside because I know that there are a lot of air. Yeah. Ah, and you have to understand that because my soup uh, because the uh, lentils are sprouted already, they're not going to grow in size. Uh, that's why I'm adding a lot of them. If you're going to add uh, dry right away, they're going to grow a lot. So you need to add one cup of dry or three cups of uh, sprouted or soaked. Interesting part of it, one heaping teaspoon of um, pumpkin spice. You know that pumpkin spice, it's not, um, it's not sweet, it's actually savory. So, pumpkin spice and one bay leaf, or in my case half of a bay leaf, and that's it. You can close it, now. Ah, wait, 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 not, 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 it's not, that's it entirely. Himalayan pink salt, and this is the last ingredient. That's it. Teaspoon of this. And the soup is really ready to go. At this point, close it. Ah, don't forget to to close it completely for now. Don't forget to close it and secure it very well. Then this part should be on close as well. You see this one? this to this then go to soup and stews here 
and it's 10 minutes and I think it will be more than enough for 10 minutes because my lentils are already soaked. If the lentils won't be soaked you will need uh, to add another at least 5 minutes to 7 minutes of the time. But I very highly recommend to soak your lentils. Okay, now it's zero. So I'm going to kill the heat because it's on warm and unplug it and I'm going to wait until the pressure will go down like you don't have to wait but I prefer to wait you can open it, open it right away but be very careful you, you never do it with your hands always with something okay, to push. in the end I've decided to open it first sorry for shaking hands so take your towel or something and then open it You see? You see how it's going to look? But I'm going to close it and then... You see this way, you see the steam? But not all your kitchen getting with the steam. After the pressure went off, I'm going to open it. How pretty it is. Okay, now is the best part. Try it. Okay, I'm going for the vegetables, the pumpkin, Bzzz. and it's like, as you see, it's like thick, like stew-like, and it's amazing. I love it this way. Mm, mm, mm. The only negative thing that I can tell about this, it's so hot. I mean, the temperature-wise. So I need to make a wind, but it's amazing. It's spicy. The pumpkin spice, it's just amazing in this recipe, and it's not sweet. Mm, 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 mm. You can definitely feel the coconut, and it's just amazing. The only th thing that I would say to you, I'm so tired of those of all of those sweet pumpkin pies lattes and everything is so sweet. So this will work as an anti tether to those sweet and you know overly sweet things. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you just must make it. I hope you really will give it a go. You know, and as usual, follow me off on Instagram, Pinterest, and etc. You will see the first the recipes that I'm cooking. Sometimes weeks before the video is up, so follow me there, and it's just, just, just amazing. So don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up the video, and see you next time. Bye. Love you all.